Hello, welcome. Um, today I'm going to be demonstrating how to filter a grid view in C sharp using Entity Framework by connecting to a database and on SQL Server. So I'm using this database called StudentDB. So, but let's create a new project from Visual Studio. I'm going to be creating a, a Windows form application. So let's name this filter grid view. Okay, while our white loads, um, I'm going to show you first we need to create the form. I'm going to add um, the necessary controls to our project. On a text box, a combo box, a label, and I want a grid view. So next, we need to name this um, button show. To show that I uh, in a grid view. Next is to the first search by city city or city search TST name okay so let's leave this by default uh, so let me explain what I have in the database on the table I have three tables I'm going to be using two tables the student table and the city table so I have a relationship linking both tables I have a diagram here you can see the city ID and the student table is having the following key so you have just two fields uh, here I have the first name, last name, gender, city, ID, and address. So it's this that is serving as a foreign key to this table. So and I have the sample, I have sample data, okay, already created on each of these tables. So you can view them to see. All right. So this is a list of students and a list of your respective cities. Okay. So back to Visual Studio to link up to the database, we need to um, create an entity framework object. So I'll go to data at video.net entity data model. I have a database already. Next to create a new create connection, enter a server name, and the username. And the password so we're going to populate the database already and SQL server so this connection okay so entity framework is uh, it's an important tool that makes crude operation easy it's in C sharp Next, so we need to select uh, the tables that are needed. We need just two tables the cities table and the students table. 
Alright. So finish. Okay. I split Y into two framework add the necessary references to our project. So you can see the model of the tables, student table and the student table. So save all. That's this. And let's build our project. So the build was successful. So next we need to hook up the grid view to this data source. We're going to create a new data source. Objects. Okay, on the city and the student table. All right, so you can see. So let's edit these columns. I don't want this. Um, I don't want this. So let's um, edit the header first and the last name first. Okay, so we're good. So next we need to add a data source to the um, combo box. Um, I want the city binding source display the city name city ID selected value. Next, we need to go to data binding. Okay, selected item. Here. City name. All right. So, we can start writing our code. To create a reference, the student entity. Okay, the grid view one with data source. Let's run our project and see how it looks. Show. We have a list of students. So, by the form loads. need to give the combo box this data source db dot cities dot lists okay so next is go to the event Selected in this change. Double click. So whenever a user selects 
an item or a function. The preview should be populated. Data source equals to db dot student dot where we're using lambda now. ID is equal to CBO city dot selected text box whenever the text is changed what should happen grid view on dot data source equals to db dot student dot use lambda again name dot contains txt name dot text or x dot last name dot contains changes let's run the project and see how it works okay you can see our combo box it has a list of the cities okay so let's select okay you can see these are the names of students that live in Maryland it's working so you can see list of students so let's try the text box let's try to enter to you see uh, this is giving us um list of students as we type in you see that format you can have it so either the last name on or the first name column is used to filter so so this is actually working perfectly it's as easy as that hope you understand uh, you need to check or uh, subscribe for more videos on this channel thank you